Okay. Hi, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to our webinars on English and OAP preparation. Today is our webinar number five and I'm really happy that you joined me today. So I hope you had nice weekends and now you are energetic, you are relaxed and you are ready to prepare for your Zenoa exam. Uh, so today we will talk about culture. We will also discuss some reading tasks. So we will speak about some tips, how to do these tasks, and we will also have practice. So as always with you. Uh, and so let's start with culture. When we say culture, actually we can speak about a lot of different things, because culture is about films, it's about theater, uh, literature, art, music, so a lot of things. So now let's look at some examples. Uh, on this slide you can see uh, five short texts. And uh, now please read the text, look at the uh, keywords, so the highlighted words, and uh, try to guess, try to understand what it's about. So is this text about film, is it about theater, is it about books or music? So let's do it all together with you. I'm waiting for your answers to the chat and let's look at number one. So let's look at the highlighted words here. We can see plot, сюжет, predictable, передбачуваний, cast, акторський склад, star, uh, it can be грати головну роль, або знімати в фільмі актора uh, на головній ролі. Also special effects, so it's clear, спецефекти. And this task is really easy. Yeah, I can see your answers. That is obviously about films. So let's go to number two. Here we can see such words as performance, выступ, actor, актор, stage, сцена. So let's think what it's about. Let's put the number and put your answer to the chat. When we speak about performances, we speak about actors, stage. So it's obviously about theater. Yeah, I, I can also see answer play. Yeah, a theater play, a play at the theater, also possible. Okay, number three. Some words like intricate, sophisticated, true to life. And the key word here is novel. Novel roman. Yeah, and it's about books. Yeah, it's about literature. Good. So let's go to number four. So number four is really easy because uh, you have the word painting, картина. Also, we have the word brush strokes, maski pentlika. And that is about art. Mm -hmm. And number five, it's obviously about music because we can see words like rock, electric guitar, rock and roll. Good. So now let's look at some more words which can be connected to culture. And you can see a lot of words here on the slide. Uh, and some of these words are connected to literature. Some of them are about films, music, visual arts or theater. Uh, so let's look through these words one by one. And uh, you can put the translation of these words to the chat if you know it. And you can also put what category we use this word for. So is it about literature, films, music, visual arts, or theater? And let's start with subtitles. So if you know the translation, you can put it to the chat and you can put which category it goes to. Subtitles, it's subtitre. And obviously it's about films. So when we watch films in English, we can use some subtitles. Subtitles, subtitre. Then uh, number two, it's opera glasses. Opera, uh, opera glasses are like small glasses which you can use uh, to see the stage better. So it's binocle, opera glasses. And we often use them when we go to the theater. So opera glasses, binocle, goes to the theater. Then the next one is ink. Ink chernilo. And it is connected to visual arts, because painters can use ink to make some pictures. Then the next one is a rhyme. So it's very similar to Ukrainian word. Mm -hmm. Rhyme, rima. So it's about poetry and it goes to literature. Rhyme, rima. 
Mm-hmm. Gig. So a gig, that is a synonym to a concert. So a gig, that is actually a concert. It is one more word to say concert. So gig, it's about music. Then box. Uh, so we know the meaning of box like korobka, uh, but it can also mean loja. And we can have a box at the theater. The next one is a busker. Uh, busker, so um, it's a street musician. So it's a person who plays music in the street and can get money for it. So it's about music. And the next one is to shoot. To shoot, it can be a synonym to film, znimate. Okay, and to shoot, that goes to films. So shoot films, it means znimate filme. Uh, I've got a question, what is a box? Uh, so here, a box means loja. A частина teatru, de može sedite kledači. Okay, then uh, let's go to the next, that is from Tan. It's souffler, so it's a person who helps actors when they forget the text they need to say. And usually there is a prompter in the theater. Then a sketch. A sketch is a short, uh, like a very quick uh, picture, a very quick painting maybe. So it is made very, very quickly. It can be translated as nabrosok. And a sketch, it's about visual art. Uh, so the next one is really easy. That is a poet. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you know the answer. I'm sure you know the translation. And it goes to literature. Poet, poet. So the next one is a stuntman. A stuntman is a person who uh, does some tricks, some dangerous tricks uh, when people are shooting a film. Stuntman cascader. So if the robot truck is a mistake. So that's about films. The next one is lyrics. Uh, so pay attention, lyrics, it's usually plural, and lyrics, that is the text, so the text of a song. The text piesnia, slova piesnia. So it's about music. So the next word is interesting. Uh, please pay attention to its pronunciation. It's an aisle. So we don't read, we don't pronounce letter S, aisle. And aisle can be translated as prohid, mizhradame. And that is about a theater. Or also we can have aisles in the cinema. The next one is documentary, so that's really easy. That goes to films, dokumentalny film. Then a violinist. So it's a person who plays violin. Skripal. And that's about music, of course. A chapter. A chapter is translated as a glava. So it's a part of a book. So usually we use it to talk about literature. Then a palette. Palitra. So uh, painters use it. So it's about visual art. Then an extra. That's a very interesting word. Uh, an extra means... Uh, so. It's not the main actor in this film or uh, in this play, but it's aktor masovke. An extra also about films. Extras, aktor masovke. So people who don't have uh, any text, so they just uh, appear in this film for a short period of time. And the last one is memoir. And it's about literature. Memoir. Okay, wonderful. So let's go on. Let's practice a little bit. Uh, so here we'll have a task. Uh, we need to fill in the gaps in the sentences and we will need to choose the correct answer. Uh, some of these words we have already discussed with you, some of them are new. So we will do uh, all sentences one by one together with you. And I'm waiting for your answers to the chat, uh, but please put the number. Put the number of the sentence and the letter of the answer. Uh, so let's look at the first sentence. The film gives uh, us a mm -hmm, picture of 1920s Chicago. The old photos of the city helped the filmmakers to restore even the finer details. Тобто ми бачимо, що використали старі фотографії, щоб відновити картинку, відновити те, як виглядало місто, і вийшло дуже реалістично. 
And the answers are thought-provoking, то, що наштовхує на роздуми, true to life, близький до життя, життєвий, live, живий або наживо, and far-fetched, неприродній. And sure, yeah, so you can see the right answer. And that is B, true to life. Okay, so let's go to number two. I enjoyed the book until the final chapter, which was spoiled by a rushed mm -hmm, ending. It didn't seem real. Не виглядала кінцівка реалістичною. So let's try to think why. And answers is A, convincing, переконливий. B, memorable, той, що запам'ятовується. C, predictable, передбачуваний. Uh, and D, unconvincing, непереконливий. Uh, so, in the chat, I can see answers C and D. Yeah? So, the ending can be predictable. C, uh, можливо, да, вжити, щоб сказати про кінцівку, щоб кінцівка була передбачуваною, але тут ми бачимо продовження. Uh, ця кінцівка не виглядала реалістичною. So, D is more logical here. It was unconvincing, непереконлива. So, I already can see some answers to number three. Uh, good, let's do it together. So it's about music, so the music was good, uh, but the text wasn't really good. So what do we use uh, about the text of a song? And that is a lyrics, yeah? Text, text piece. Um, Bovne duže dobre. And number four. Uh, so something or somebody that helps actors who forget the alliance. And we have got answers in extra, actor Masovke, Fromta, Souffler, Tantman, Cascader, and Basker, Vulichny Muzikant. So sure, B is the right answer. Fromta, Souffler. Some more sentences for you. Uh, so number five. I always wanted to go on the... <laughs> and we have answers A, gig, concert, B, performance, выступ. Або вистава, C, stage, сцена, and D, aisle, прохід між рядами. Uh, so, for sure, it's not an aisle. Uh, and, so what do we choose for number five? Waiting for your answers. Mm -hmm. And the right answer here is C, to go on the stage. Uh, so, there is a set phrase, to go on the stage, uh, it means to become an actor. Я стала вираз to go on the stage. Він означає стати актором або актрисою. Uh, so here the person wanted not only to go to a gig or to a performance, but the person wanted to become an actor. So here we choose C stage. Uh, then number six. So he drew a rough mm -hmm, on his of his apartment on a napkin. Він щось швиденько намалював. And that is D, that is sketch, набросок. Дуже швидкий малюнок. Good, so number seven. The film also mm -hmm, George Clooney and Jennifer Lopez. So they play the main part, the main role in this film. And here we choose A, stars. So, star can be used as a verb. Uh, ви знаєте, що star – це може бути іменник, зірка, але також може використовуватись як дієслово. Якщо актор грає головну роль в фільмі uh, або в виставі, ми можемо сказати, що this film stars somebody. So, this film stars Johnny Depp. So, uh, Johnny Depp plays the main role in this film. And number eight. You, you've kept me in... <laughs> And we've got impressed, intriguing, suspense, and miming. And the right answer here in number eight is suspense. Suspense, напруга. So there is a set phrase to keep somebody in suspense. Тримати когось в напрузі. Uh, so if a film... Uh, If there, if there are lots of things happening in this film and you don't know what is going to happen next, you can say this. This film keeps you in suspense. Тримаю в напрузі. Good. So thank you for your answers. Um, 
Okay, I've got a question in the chat. What is releases? So it release, uh, it means выпускаться. So if a film company releases a film, it can be translated as кинокомпания выпустила фильм. Okay, so thank you for your answers. And let's go next. So we have discussed with you some general information about culture. And now uh, we will talk about some venues. Venues for cultural events and people who work in this sphere. Поговоримо про місця, де можуть відбуватись різні культурні заходи, а також про людей, які цим займаються. Uh, so, let's look at the first picture and uh, let's put to the chat what you can see here. What is the name of this place? So, what is this? It is connected to art because you can see different pictures here, different paintings. But what is the name of the place? What is the venue? A venue, it means місце, uh, місце проведення. Yeah, and uh, it can be a museum, uh, but when um, so we speak about some paintings, usually we say gallery. Yeah, so that is an art gallery. And uh, in galleries or in museums, we can have uh, выставки. We can say that that is exhibition. So exhibition, выставка. In this picture, we can see exhibition of paintings. But also it can be exhibition of photos, exhibition of culture, um, of uh, sculptures. I'm sorry. Выставка може бути виставка картин, exhibition of paintings, виставка фотографій, exhibition of photos, etc. Okay, so number two. Yeah, I've got, okay, I can see your answers to, to all numbers now. So number two, it's about cinema. Yes, of course. Uh, also, we can say movie theater. So movie theater, it is the same as cinema, uh, but it's more used in American English. Uh, and uh, in the movie, uh, movie theater or in the cinema, uh, we watch films on a cinema screen or just screen. And also we can see here seating or seats, mista, mista для глядачів. Then number three. Uh -huh. So you write number three, it's a gig. Um, so a gig, it's uh, what happens there, but what is the name of the place? Gig, concert, that's the thing that happens, but how do you call it? So what is the name of the venue where we can have gigs and concerts? And that is a concert venue. Or we can say concert hall. Concert venue or concert hall. Место, де проводяться концерти. Here we also can see a stage, so where uh, musicians perform. And also we can see spotlights, spotlights projectory. Uh, and number four, so that is really easy. I'm sure you know the answer. And that is a theater. And uh, so there are a lot of things uh, we need to discuss when we talk about theater. So we will look at some parts uh, of the theater hall in more detail. Uh, so here on the slide you can see eight numbers in the picture and you can see eight words. So let's try to match them. Look at the words and uh, so try to match. So what is number one? In this picture number one is also something that you can have at home Number one is a curtain, of course, curtain. <coughs> Good. Uh, number two. So, aha, uh -huh, I can see your answer is number two, that is stage, scena. Then number three. So, number three, it's the place where musicians sit. So, musicians who play music uh, for this performance sit in the place number three. And number three, it's orchestra pit. An orchestra pit, uh, it's um, orchestrova yama. So the place where musicians uh, who play music for this performance sit. So that is an orchestra pit, number three. Number four, so we have already discussed the, the, this part of the theater with you. And number four, that is a box, box loja. So the place where the audience can sit. And number five, that is gallery. Also, uh, people can sit there, uh, but yeah, it's not uh, such a good place as uh, 
by a box. And we've got number six. Number six, it's stalls. Uh, stalls, it's porter. And seven, so the place between the seating, between seats. Prohit uh, Mishradame. Also, we have discussed this for it with you. And seven, that is an aisle. Aisle Prohit Mishradame. And number eight, also, we have discussed it with you. So number eight, that is opera classes. Okay, uh, I can see the answer in the chat. Yak chit is synonyma. Uh, that's a very good question, but let's discuss it at the end of the webinar. Okay? Um, дуже хороше питання. Давайте до нього повернемось в кінці вебінара. А я розкажу, де можна знайти синоніми і як їх вивчити. So um, now let's talk about people. People who work in this sphere. So people who are connected uh, to culture. And um, Again, so waiting for your answers to the chat. We've got a lot of practice tasks with you today. And let's look at number one. So who can you see here? So the question, what is stalls? A stalls, it's a uh, um, porter. Yeah, places uh, in the theater. Місця, які не на балконі, а саме в залі. Okay, so number one, that is a conductor. Conductor, it's not conductor. Uh, conductor, it's a uh, dirigent. So the person who manages the orchestra, and uh, so that is the person who leads the orchestra. This person doesn't play any musical instruments uh, during the concert, but um, he or she helps the musicians to perform. Uh, number two. Number two is a writer. Uh, also, we can say an author. It might be a poet, yes. Uh, but we have a general word for this, so it's a writer, pismennik. Then number three. So that is the person with the camera, and that is a cameraman. But it also can be a woman, so in this case we will say a camera woman. So cameraman or a camera woman. Number four. And yes, I can see your answer is that is a sculptor. Number four is a sculptor. And number five. What is number five? And that is that is an easy word because it's the same in Ukrainian. That is a ballerina. Uh, but it can also be a man. So if it is a man, we can say a belly dancer. So ballerina, it's about a woman, and belly dancer, it can be used to talk about men. Good. Ready for some more practice. Uh, so now it's all about people. And uh, you have to choose the right answer. So let's read the sentences and let's choose the right answer for everyone. Let's start with number one. The publishing house is looking to hire to provide pictures for a new children's book. So, uh, what do we call a person who makes, who creates some pictures for books? Is it an illustrator or a painter? Painter, художник, illustrator, illustrator. Yeah, and that is an illustrator. So, illustrator is a person who creates pictures for books. Good. So let's look at number two. Uh, we can see some keywords here. So that is marble statue. Marmorova statue. So it's obviously about a sculptor. You are right. Then in number three. Richard Cox has presented has been presented with an award for his contribution to literature. So the keyword in number three is literature. And we have two answers here. Playwright, a dramaturg, той, хто пише п'єси, and actor, актор. So here it's playwright. Yes, of course, playwright, a dramaturg, because it's connected to literature. So it's a person who creates uh, performances, who creates plays. 
number four, we've got conductor, the right hand, and we've got musician, musicant. And this person led the orchestra through the concert. orchestra. And that is a conductor, the right hand. Good. So number five. You know what is extras? Adds it can be a ogoloshina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we use extras. Ex extras, aktore masovke. Uh, and number six. A Poland somebody has been hired to create dance, dance routines for a new belly. So if it's about dancing, it's surely a choreographer, so not a comedian. Mm -hmm. Choreographer. Yeah, pay attention to the spelling. It's a little bit tricky. Good. Um, okay. So now we're ready to move on and we'll talk about films and we will talk about some adjectives which we can use to describe films and uh, also these adjectives can be used actually for uh, books, also for plays, uh, for music, etc. So let's start with films. And I'm sure you know a lot of different film genres. And let's try to check it. Um, you can see eight pictures and you can see posters, posters for different films. Um, your task is to look at the poster and try to think which genre it is. So maybe you know some of them, maybe some of them are new, but uh, try to look at the poster and try to think what genre it is. Oh, what is number one? Yeah, you say it's a comedy. Uh, it is a comedy, but there is a special name for this type uh, of comedy. So it's a sitcom. Sitcom or a situational comedy. So usually it is a serial uh, with a lot of different episodes. And um, so it is a comedian uh, series. Комедійний телесеріал з багатьма епізодами, де розігрується або показуються якісь смішні ситуації з життя героїв. So that is a sitcom. Then number two. Look at this picture, look at the name of this film, and try to think what's that. Number two. Yeah, it is also a comedy, but there is a more specific word for it this type of comedies, and that is a rom-com. So rom-com, uh, it's the same as romantic comedy, romantichna komedia. So you can say rom-com, or you can say romantic comedy. Then number three. What is number three? Mm -hmm. So uh, number three, no, it's not a documentary. A documentary it is something based on some real life events. And uh, so this film is about space, maybe about future. So that is a sci-fi, right? You are. So sci-fi or science fiction, Naukovo Fantastica. Number four. What is number four? I'm sure you all know this film. And that is fantasy. Yes, you are right, that is fantasy, but uh, please pay attention to the spelling. We write S, not that S, fantasy. Good. Mm -hmm. So the next one, number five. So it's a funny, funny film or a funny movie. So we call it a... So here is just a comedy. So we have three types of comedies here. It's a sitcom, that is a series, rom-com, romantic comedy, and just a comedy. So that is a usual funny film. What about number six? Number six, um, a lot of things are happening in this film. So there are some people with guns. There is also police. Um, Crime? Okay, not really. So that is action. Action film, uh, it can be translated as action. В українській ми також кажемо action. Or also, it can be translated as бойовик. Number seven. Good. 
Okay, number seven, it's really easy. Yes, that is a cartoon, with film. And the last one, yeah, I can already see the answer is for number eight. Yeah, it's the easiest one. I'm sure you all know this film. Uh, yeah, number seven, it can be animated film, animated film or a cartoon, right? And eight, that is obviously a horror, like a scary film. Horror, um, ужасы, ужастик. Good. Uh, so now, uh, let's look at some words which we can use to describe films. Usually when we describe films, when we describe books, we use such words as good, interesting, exciting, we can say funny, sad, boring, bad, but there are a lot of synonyms to them. So there are a lot of more, a lot more words which we can use uh, in the same meaning. So you've got a long list of the words here. Uh, please look at these words, think which ones you know, which ones are new for you, and we will try to match them to their synonyms. And so please look through the words, and uh, now you can start thinking which of these words can be used as synonyms to good, interesting, and exciting. Які з цих слів можемо використати як синоніми до слів good, interesting, exciting? Uh, you can put the numbers uh, to the chat, or you can put the words. So good, interesting, and exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are some ideas. Entertaining mm, might be. Okay, let's look. Uh, so we can use also excellent, fantastic, fascinating, creeping, intriguing, superb, thrilling. So all these words, they have very similar meaning and they can be used to describe something that we like. So you can use not only good, interesting, exciting, but you can also use excellent, fantastic, fascinating, creeping, intriguing, superb, and thrilling. What about funny? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you put amusing, amusing, it's funny. Okay, can be. Uh, yeah, so we can use amusing as a synonym to funny, entertaining, and hilarious. So hilarious, it means like very, 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 very funny. I'm using entertaining, entertaining, то еще розважаю. Good. Now, sad. So, some synonyms to the word sad. And to say sad, we can use such words as depressing, moving. Uh, moving here, it means зворушливый, but also it can be used in the meaning of sad. Or touching. Touching also зворушливый. Let's move to boring. Some synonyms to boring. And it can be dull or monotonous. Mm -hmm. Dull, yeah, so dull, it's boring or stupid and monotonous, yeah, it's not, not really interesting. And bad. So some more emotional synonyms to bad are terrible, awful, dreadful. So all these words mean very bad. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are right, good. Uh, let's look at the translation of this word and uh, it will be uh, more clear for you. So I will show you the translation. Now I will read all these words for you. Uh, and please follow me and read the translation of them. Amusing, awful. Depressing, dreadful, dull, entertaining, excellent, fantastic, fascinating, creeping, hilarious, intriguing, monotonous, moving, superb, terrible, thrilling, and touching. Now you can take a photo or you can take a screenshot of this slide uh, and when you have some time, so look through this for it, make sure you remember them and use them when you do your writing task or when you see them in the text at your Zenoi, it will also be helpful for you because you will know their meaning. So I suggest you take a photo or a screenshot of this slide because you can see a lot of useful words here. And we will move on. Now, some practice. Again, some practice for you. Uh, so, there are some words which look very, very similar, 
but there is a difference between them. Uh, тут показані слова, які дуже часто плутаються і дуже часто допускаються помилки з цими словами. Uh, so now we will try to discuss the difference between them. Поговоримо, чим вони відрізняються. So in number one we have got two words, film and movie. Uh, now look at the sentences and think in which sentence we can use film, in which sentence we need to use movie. Прочитайте одразу два речення, так вам буде легше зрозуміти, в чому різниця і деяке слово потрібно вжити. And in number one, we use movie. And in number two, it will be film, to film. So what is the difference between them? Uh, both of these words can be used as nouns. Обидва, два слова, uh, обидва ці слова можуть використовуватись як іменники в значенні фільм, кіно. А якщо вони використовуються як іменники, немає абсолютно ніякої різниці в значенні. Uh, movie – it's an American word, film – it's a British word. Але a movie може використовуватись лише як іменник, в той час як film can be a word. Film може бути також дієсловом, uh, тобто знімати. Yeah, so here – знімати і саме знімати на плівку. So here you need permission to film in some of those old churches. Тобто знімати, знімати на відео. Okay, let's go to number two. Serials and series. Your ideas, in which sentence to use serials, in which we can use series? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Number one is serials. Uh, and number two, that is series. So a serial, um, that is like um, not a film, but it's a story that has a lot of episodes, a uh, serial, which has a lot of series, and um, so the events are connected together. And the things that happen in these series are connected between each other. So this is a continuous story. Then that is a serial. And then series, uh, it can be just uh, so a film which has some parts, or a book which has some parts, but every part is a new story. Uh, series – це серія. Може бути серія фільмів, серія книжок, uh, тобто книжки і фільми, які мають декілька частин. Uh, вони можуть бути пов'язані, вони зазвичай пов'язані персонажами, але um, кожна частина – це uh, як окрема історія. So that is a series. And we can use series to talk about books as well. Також слово «series» можемо використати, щоб говорити про фільми, о, про фільми і про книги. А «serial» – це лише про а, серіали. Then number three. Director and directed. Okay, see your answers. Yes, the play was directed. Спродюсовано. Фі, а, да, вистава була спродюсована Франком Гойзером. And in number two. The director. So, Steven Spielberg, it's a director. Director, режисер. Wonderful, some more. Number four, audition and audience. Um, so, these words look very similar, but they have absolutely different meaning. Okay, so I'm waiting for your ideas. In which sentence to use audition? In which sentence we need to use audience? So, put your answers to the chat, then we'll discuss the difference between them. Uh, maybe if you know the translation or mm, the meaning, you can also put it to the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, number one, that is audition, um, and number two, that is audience. So, audition is прослуховування. When actors want to take part uh, in a concert or in a performance, they need to go through audition. Audition – прослуховування, and audience – it's auditoria, so people who watch um, a performance or who listen to some music. So that is audience. Then number five – featuring and feature. Mm-hmm. Yes, you're right. Number one is feature, feature film. And number two, it's featuring. Uh, so, feature film, uh, it means художний film. 
So it's a sad phrase, please just remember it. Feature film, it means художній фільм, це сталий вираз. І feature вживається саме в такій формі в цьому виразі. Uh, and the next one, that is featuring. Uh, featuring показує. So the retro theater is featuring films. Кінотеатр, о, театр показує фільми. And number six, that is plot and script. So these words are very easily confused. So look through the sentences and uh, put your ideas to the chat. In which sentence we use plot, in which sentence we need to use script. And if you know the translations also, it can be useful. You can put it to the chat and help others. Mm -hmm. Yes, number one, that is script. And number two, it's plot. Uh, so a script, it's a scenario. It can be a script to a film or a script to a performance. And plot, it's сюжет. Script, scenario, plot, сюжет. Okay, thank you. Let's go on. So, two more words. Playwright or playwriter. Only one of them is correct. And again, please put to the chat which word is correct. The first one or the second one? Dramaturg. Is it a playwright or a playwriter? Number one or number two? Yes, and the right is playwright. Please remember, remember that we write playwright. Uh, dramaturg, це playwright. Not playwright, a playwright. But let's look at uh, the next example. We have script right and script writer. Scenarist, той, хто пише сценарії. Is it a script right or a script write, writer? Yes, and here it's number two. It's script writer. Uh, so remember, it's playwright, but script writer. Good. So let's move on. Let's discuss some literature with you. Um, so on this slide, you can see some definitions. And uh, we will uh, try to think together which type of literary works it's about. So, number one, what do we call a book in which someone writes about their own life? So, a book when a person, him or herself, writes about his or her life. And that is an autobiography. So, autobiography is when a person writes about him or herself, autobiography. And then number two. A book that tells what happened in someone's life, written by someone else. So, number two, it's when another person writes about the life of another person. So, one person writes about another person. That is just a biography. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. So, number three. Several stories, poems, etc. that are in one book. Zbirka. Zbirka opowiedań, wierszyw. Uh, and etc. And that is a collection, a collection of short stories. A collection it's zbirka. Collection of short stories, zbirka opowiedań. Opowiedania anglijskoje it's a short story. Then number four, a play for the theater, television, etc. Usually a serious one. And that is a drama. So, a drama, that is a play for a theater, television, and usually it's a serious, serious piece of writing. Uh, drama або pieza. Then number five. A long written story in which the characters and events are usually imaginary. So, number five, it's a um, roman. Just in general, roman. Yes, you are right. Number five is a novel. Novel Roman. And number six, poems in general. And that is poetry. So poetry, poesia. 
Now let's look at this book review. Uh, in this book review, you can see some gaps and you can see a lot of words on this slide. So some of them we have already discussed, some of them are new. You can also see translation of some words. So let's try to fill in the gaps together. And think what to use in number one. In the masterly mm -hmm, paragraph, тобто це перший, uh, перший абзац, абзац, який відкриває цю книгу. And in number one, we will use opening paragraph. Uh, перший абзац, вступ. Then let's look at number two. Mm -hmm. Iris records the hard life of her sister, Laura. So here we mean оповідач. Той, від чи, чи його обличчя, uh, ведеться розповідь в книзі. And number two, it's a narrator. Narrator, оповідач. Good. So number three. The first mm -hmm, poses several tantalizing questions about the history of the Chase family. And in number three, we need a word which means глава. В першій главі. Okay, so your ideas for number three. The first, yes, the first chapter, Persha Glava. So chapter is a part of a book. Number four. So in number four, uh, we mean Ostani Sturinki в книзі, but we don't say like last pages. We use another phrase for that. So what do we call last pages of the book? And they are final, final pages. Останні сторінки в книзі. So we don't say last pages, but we say final, final pages. Then the next. Something is intriguing and sophisticated. So what can be intriguing and sophisticated? So it's the story, the story of this book. Yes, and that is plot. Exactly, you're right. Plot, сюжет. Number six. Somebody is true to life that you may find yourself personally liking or hating some of them. Yeah, and here we mean heroes, heroes of this book. What is another word to say heroes of the book? And they are characters. Uh, pay attention to the pronunciation. We say characters. Characters, personage. Good. Then, so in number seven, we need a word which means roman. Say roman. And that is a novel. Novel, roman. And uh, it won something. In 2000, it won. What can it win? Що можна виграти? Yes, and that is a prize. So it won the Booker Prize. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So now we are ready to talk about some art. So art and some verbs which we can use to describe it or to talk about it. Uh, and you can see some examples of artwork here. So look at number one. Number one, that is a landscape. Uh, landscape, it's a picture where you usually can see some nature. Landscape, paysage. Then number two, that is a still life. So usually we see some objects here. A still life, it's naturmort. Self-portrait, okay, that is clear, autoportrait. An engraving, uh, so a cutting or design into a metal, gravura. Engraving, uh, gravure or graviuvanya. And the last one, that is a statue. Okay, it's clear because in Ukrainian the word is really, really similar. Statue, statue. So once again, landscape, paysage, still life, naturmort, self-portrait, autoportrait, engraving, graviuvanya, statue, statue. Uh, so look at this photo. You can see a woman and she is looking at the picture. Uh, so what... What uh, what type of art uh, is it? So what can you say about this picture? What kind of picture is it? 
we can see some nature yeah here also we can see some flowers uh, what can it be uh, yeah i would say that it's a combination of a landscape and still life because we can see some elements of landscape here we can see nature mountains yeah and we can see some flowers and the window so that is a still life so it's a landscape and a still life okay, so what is the place where is the woman what do we call the place like that Yeah, that's right. That is an art gallery. And what is she doing? What is she doing there? What is she doing with this picture? Okay, so your ideas. What is this woman doing? Mm -hmm. You say she is looking, looking at the picture. Okay, maybe some other words we can use for that. So she is looking at the picture. Uh-huh. Adoring. Okay, it's a beautiful word. Also, we've got some answers like see and watch. Okay. So actually, let's look at this word. Um, so uh, in English, we can say look at, but we can use a lot of other words which have like almost the same translation. Я дуже багато слів в англійській мові, які можуть перекладатись як дивитись. But there is a difference in the meaning. So let's look at this word and let's try to match them with the definitions. And then we will discuss what that woman was doing in the picture. Uh, so let's look at the words and let's match them with the definitions. We have here some words and phrases like look at, gaze at, glimpse, peep, stare at, glance at, peer and watch. So your ideas for number one. Which of these words means to have a quick look at something? Дуже швидко подивитись на щось. And that is a glimpse. Glimpse – швидкий погляд. Кинути оком на щось. Yeah, so very, very quickly. Then number two. Turn the eyes in a certain direction so as to see something. So use your eyes to see something. Number two, it's really easy. And that is just to look at. What do we this in choice? That's a neutral word. Then number three. Look at something with difficulty because one can see something very well or there is not enough light. So number three, it means вдивлятись. Роздивлятись, вдивлятись, тому що погано видно. So you can't see clearly. And number three is Peer. Uh, peer – вдивлятись. Uh, коли погано видно, ми намагаємось роздивитись щось. So it means to peer. So number three is peer. Вдивлятись. Number four. So deliberately look at something for a long time without moving one eye, one's eyes. So number four. Uh, so it means to look at something very, very attentively for a long time and without moving your eyes. Дивитись дуже пильно, дуже уважно, не відводячи очей. And that is to stare at. Stare at – дуже уважно дивитись. Так уважно, що аж не відводимо очей. Number five – look secretly. Look secretly through a narrow opening or from behind something. Look quickly and in a secret. Піддивлятись. And that is to peep. Peep, it's peep divlatis. So to look secretly. Number six, look steadily at something for some time because it's beautiful or interesting. Дивитись на щось протягом певного часу, тому що це красиво. Це вам подобається. That is to gaze. Gaze at роздивлятись. Дуже близько по значенню до «steer at», але не прям настільки уважно, не прям відводячи очей, просто дивитись протягом певного часу, тому що вам щось подобається. So that is «gaze at». And seven, to look at something attentively and absorb. So seven, that is to watch. Watch – дивитись на щось протягом певного часу. And usually we use watch when something is moving. 
Ми використовуємо дієслово watch, коли щось рухається. Тобто ми не можемо сказати watch a picture. So, but we can say watch a film, watch a play, watch a dancing performance, etc. And the last one here. Look at something very quickly, especially by raising one's eyes. Кинути погляд. And that is the last one here, so that is glance. Glance at. Кинути погляд на щось. Also very quickly. So now let's go back to the slide and can you put your ideas to the chat? What this woman is doing? What is she doing here? Which words we can use? So how can we say she uh, like she is looking at this picture very attentively because she she is enjoying it. Yeah, I guess she likes it. Yeah, we can use gaze and stare. Mm -hmm. Good, agree with you. Oh, also look at. Good, let's practice very quickly here. Yeah, uh, and so let's choose the right word. Let's look at the first one. Roger mm -hmm, into the dark corridor to see what was making the noise. So it was dark, he couldn't see it well, uh, so he wanted to uh, see what was there in the darkness. Roger вдивлявся. Було темно і було погано видно, тому він вдивлявся. And in number one, yes, we, we choose Pierre. Mm -hmm. Good. So number two, look or watch carefully. You may learn something. So you may learn something, so you need to uh, spend some time for this. Yeah, so you need to do it for some period of time. So here we use watch, watch carefully. Mm -hmm. Watch carefully, uh, because it can be about a course or it can be about a video, a film, etc. So number three, they say if you want to hmm, the future, just look behind you. Подивитись, зазирнути, зазирнути в майбутнє. And there is two glimpses. Yeah, glimpse, зазирнути швиденько. Good. And number four. Then you usually lie there just mm -hmm, at the ceiling. Тобто лежить і дивиться в стелю протягом певного часу. Дуже уважно. Yeah, and here that is staring, staring at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, Taryn. So, right answers. Thanks a lot. So, now we have some more time and we will move to reading. So, I promised you to discuss one type of reading tasks today and we will talk about matching. So, today we will discuss matching tasks. Uh, and we will speak about the first matching task uh, at the test which you have. And usually uh, here you will see five advertisements or five very short texts and you will see eight options, eight answers. So your task will be to choose which advertisement is about and you've got some ideas here. So be very attentive because usually you have five texts but you have eight options. So three options are extra, you don't need to use them. So you need to use only five options, five answers, one for each advertisement. Uh, so let's revise, let's discuss some tips how to do such tasks. So first of all, look through the text briefly. Don't translate every word. Продивіться ці оголошення швидко і не зациклюйтесь на кожному слові. Вам не потрібно знати переклад кожного слова. Нам потрібно зрозуміти загальну ідею, а про що йдеться в цьому оголошенні. Then decide what is the main idea of the text. Yeah, so we have already discussed it. So we need to know the main idea. Нам потрібна головна ідея. Also, think out the keywords and think of some synonyms to them. А дуже важливо виокремлювати ключові слова, keywords. А, і також думати про синоніми, тому що в варіантах відповідей в нас дуже часто, ви знаєте, що найчастіше зустрічаються синоніми. Все ж таки, а не дослівно, так як в тексті. Also, look at the accompanying, uh, accompanying illustrations, if any, for clues, but keep, be careful, don't rely on them. Um, 
Також в нас можуть бути ілюстрації до цих текстів, але будьте з ними дуже обережними. Усе ж таки ми читаємо інформацію в тексті і вибираємо відповідь відповідно до самого тексту, а не до картинки. А, тому що іноді картинки можуть заплутати. So please be very, very attentive with the pictures. Then choose the best option. That is clear. And make sure the extra options don't suit any of the text. Після того, як ви виконали завдання, дуже добре продивитись, які варіанти ви не використали, і пересвідчити, що вони дійсно ні до чого не підходять. Це не займе багато часу, але так ви будете впевнені, що ваші відповіді є вірними. So, let's practice with you. That is the task from the NOAA 2021. That was an extra session. And um, you can see five advertisements here. So, let's use the TIFF and let's do this task together with you. Um, so let's look at the first, at the first advertisement, that is number 17, and let's try to find some keywords. And I'm waiting for your answers to the chat. So some keywords are cinema, cinema again. Also we can see film festival. So cinema film festival. So we understand that it's something about culture. Yeah, so something about films. So what is the answer? What can be used for 17? If it's about cinema and it's a film festival. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is age. Age entertainment. Entertainment rozvahe. So, uh, films and film festival, it's about entertainment, це про розваги, so age is the right answer here, good. Uh, and also we can see here a picture, so uh, we can see some animals, and if we look only at this picture, we can choose pet care, that is not right, yeah, so be careful with pictures. Uh, then in number 18, actually we have only one keyword, so let's try to find the only keyword here, and that is our new story. So, store, it's a synonym to shop. Store is synonym to the word shop, magazin. That's the only key word here. And we understand that it is about shopping. And you can see how synonyms are used. You can see that you can use synonyms in the question of store, in the answer to shopping. Good, let's look at 19. So, some keywords are beard, beard, trim, strichte, shave, shampoo, also barber shop. So it's something about beauty, something about hair. And that is hairdressing. Try it. Then mm -hmm. price list per uh, Then 20. So uh, the text is very, very small here. So I, I will read maybe some parts for you. We have pumpkin pudding, cracker, uh, also some spices. Also we see words like cake, latte. So 20, it's about eating out. Yeah, so that's a menu. Menu of a cafe or a restaurant. And 21. 21, that is... So we have the word career here. Yeah, also requirements. Vomore. We are looking for. So it's all about job opportunities. Yeah, that's an advertisement for a job, for a vacancy. So it's about job opportunities. Good. Uh, so let's try to remember which uh, answers we didn't use. So we didn't use cookery courses. Uh, yeah, and let's make sure that nothing's used here. Do cookery courses дійсно нічого не підходить. У нас є номер 20, але це меню, це просто меню закладу, і про курси тут нічого немає. So, cookie requires it's not suitable. Then education, osvita, so nothing is about education here. And pet care, pro tvarin, dohled za tvarinami, uh, so also nothing here. We have only picture in 17, yes, but if we read, we understand that it's about films, it's about entertainment. Okay, so thank you. And now some tricky questions at the end of our webinar to revise uh, everything we discussed with you. So, waiting for your answers to the chat. Yes or no? Number one, can creeping and fascinating be used as synonyms? Do they have the same meaning? Creeping and fascinating. Can they be used as synonyms? 
Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, grouping is the hoplyuchi and fascinating also the hoplyuchi. So they can be used to describe something that we like. Number two, can star be a verb? To more the slow star, but it is slow. Yes, it can be. So it can be a noun, maybe it is a noun, or a star, or a main role, or a main actor in the main role. Number three, do script and plot mean the same? Number three, yes or no? Do script and plot mean the same? No, of course no. Script, that is scenario, and plot, uh, it's sujet. Good. Does a conductor play a musical instrument at the concert? And no, that is the person who leads, who manages the orchestra. And uh, the last one here. Can, illustrators, uh, can illustrations mislead to the wrong answers in reading? Чи потрібно нам бути уважними з картинками, бо вони можуть нас збити? And that is yes. Yes. Нам потрібно дивитись на картинки в завданні читання, але нам потрібно все ж таки відштовхуватись від тексту і не концентруватись лише на картинках, тому що часто вони дійсно можуть збити. Тому читайте текст. Uh, and I also promised to answer the question about synonyms. Також було питання про те, як чити синоніми. Uh, зараз одну хвилиночку поради, як це можна робити. Коли ви вчите нові слова, використовуєте словники, наприклад, хороші словники – це Longman Dictionary, or it can be Cambridge Dictionary, also Oxford Dictionary. Використовуєте хороші словники онлайн, і коли ви дивитесь слово в словнику, там також будуть синоніми. Я вам показувала приклад в минулий раз з словника Longman, де ми бачили Значення слова ми також бачили синоніми, і ми також бачили однокорінні слова, тобто які префікси, які суфікси можуть вживатись. Також є окремі словники синонімів. Ви можете просто в гуглі пошукати. Я спробую до наступного вебінару також знайти якісь варіанти і можу вам конкретніше порадити хороші словники, які рекомендую використовувати. Загалом це може бути будь-який словник англомовний, який можна знайти онлайн. Мені подобається Longman. Okay, so thank you a lot. Thank you for your work. I hope uh, you learned some new words today and I wish you to have a good week and see you next Monday. So thank you a lot and goodbye.